But we start with the story of a man who Lincoln police say went on a spree of vandalism with a skid loader. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. Officers say this man caused damage to multiple businesses and vehicles, including a police cruiser. KATV News Watch Evans Andrew Ozaki spoke with his girlfriend, who shares some insight into the chain of events all caught on camera. We now may have a reason for this wild situation Sunday afternoon in Lincoln. Oh my a suspect in a skid loader goes on a rampage through several South Lincoln businesses, ramming a police cruiser, then damaging several vehicles before being arrested at this Home Depot parking lot. Cop got out, guns were drawn, and he gave up pretty quickly after that. Police arrested 36-year-old Samuel Payro for second-degree assault on an officer and criminal mischief. In a telephone interview, his girlfriend tells me she believes he was delusional at the time, caused by a combination of his prescription medications and four days of no sleep due to his job removing snow as a contractor. She says she became very concerned Sunday morning, saying he was acting strangely and talking incoherently. She says police took him to the hospital after she called 911 around 1 a.m. She doesn't understand why he was sent home three hours later. Meanwhile, we're getting a better look at the path of destruction, starting at this U-Stop convenience store. And he unloaded his skid loader out here. Police say the skid loader belongs to Payro's employer. Investigators say he damaged a truck in a donation box there, then several vehicles at a nearby Taco Bell. For why, I have no idea. He looked in and just laughed at us. More video allegedly shows Payro damaging an apartment complex sign, then chasing a truck down a road, then damaging an ATM and crashing into the front door of a liquor store. Two concrete posts block the skid loader's way. Yeah, we're thankful for those because it uh, would have made quite a mess if he could have actually made it into the building. Payro's girlfriend is grateful the officer outside this Home Depot didn't shoot him and that no one was seriously hurt. She says he was not drunk nor high and that he probably didn't know what he was doing. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.